Tell Adeline I'm sorry. She is the sorriest I've ever seen. <laughs> So friends, I've spent far too long lounging about talking to these good people, but slightly misled. Olava and Urvasa. I did know Urvasa before I had left, but Olava is a new face to the to the temple. Both well-meaning, but uh their words have no purpose for me. The Emperor's moved on to a better place, etc. I did the best that I could. Except that I did not, friends. I think that there is some sort of curse on me, so I've decided to visit uh, Kud A at the Guild of Mages. She is the matronly sort, you know. She's been here for a very long time. And I'm sure there are some new faces here. I hope not to run into Vare and Vamori. Ah, there you are, my tailed friend. Plus, she's willing to teach others this skill. And they are talking about Urvasa from the church. Oh, and now the murder. I must interrupt this. I'm sorry. Hello, could I? Uh. I might like to join the guild if it could help me further my magical talents. Perhaps I could dispel this curse upon my head. Well, no bounty on your head, and you only the curse. Enough. Very well. Are you sure you want to join the guild? She doesn't seem to know that uh, I was in the fighters' guild or the thieves' guild over in Morrowind. Yes, I. I I believe I would like to be part of the Mage's Guild of Oblivion. Then, I declare you to now be an associate of the Mage's Guild. Welcome to the ranks. Thank you You'll so much. You'll need to acquire recommendations from all the local Guild Hall leaders to advance further in the Guild. Oh, smart, seeking power, of course. the opportunity to have you perform a small service for them. One good turn deserves another, after all. Mm. We have a responsibility to look after one another. Don't we? Indeed. I say we do, no matter what the costs. So, might you help me with uh, this supposed curse upon my head? I have no confirmation, but I also have no way to detect it myself. So, do you think that I could find help at the Arcane University? Or, you just look at me blankly? How about the recommendation? What would it take to get there? Are you so eager to begin? Very well. We can start if you feel you are ready. I believe I'm ready, yes. I'm afraid I haven't had time to prepare anything conventional. I'm very preoccupied with this situation concerning Ardalin. Ardalin? Perhaps you can help with that, however. I can't directly get involved for fear of embarrassing the poor girl. Mm. I'll need you to have a little chat with Varen Vamori, and you can learn uh. something about the power of illusion in the process. Well, I do have some experience with the power of illusion. Can you tell me a bit about Ardaline? Don't say anything to her. I don't want to embarrass her further. Once this is all taken care of, I'll speak to her privately. Yes, you certainly are the matronly sort. You, you've always had a place in my heart, could I? I would gladly take this task on for you. Um, what do you know about Varen Vomori? I'm not fond of him, but that means I haven't gotten too close either. I don't either. understand it. Some ridiculous male thing, I suppose. He's been bothering Ardeline every day for a while now. Mm. He even stole her mage's staff. Despicable. Perhaps he thinks it's amusing. I don't know. But it needs to stop. It's making her miserable. Brandar will take care of this for you, my friend. Uh, perhaps I can learn a bit more about the staff. What? What? I'm not a, exactly. Uh, I'm not exactly well versed in the magical arts. So might you tell me a bit more about what even might the staff look like? What does it do? It's more symbolic than practical but each carries great significance to its owner. You're going to get Arteline's staff back. 
Take this charm scroll. With it, you should find Varon more receptive to questioning. Hmm. Don't come back without that staff. Yes, ma'am. I'm on it, good eye. Thank you for Make your sure time. Varon hands over that staff. Indeed. Hi there. How are so, you today? I probably shouldn't say much and to Ardeline. I do know that it's her. And there's the Varen Vamori. What do you want? Let us tail him for just a little while. And I happen to know where his house is. So if he's not headed there, we might just have a little peek inside. Although the guards are about during the day. Aha. Uh -huh. In wondrous, yes. Any staff in here? No, just some oranges. Hmm. Tomatoes and cheese. If we could have a, a little bread. Oh, some wheat. I should take this. We shall make some alchemy ingredients. Yes, and then I can sell the potions for a good price. Mmm. Yes, give me all of this. I have been making just a little bit of gold around the church. Not necessarily by pinching the coffers, but... Acting as I, if I was uh, taking a collection, but I did not say what it was for. Followers of the Grey Fox. Hmm. Nothing, nothing. I wonder if Varen Vomori is a follower of the Grey Fox. Well, that was a lot of picks for easy one. Perhaps I should take the time to try it myself. Then again, maybe not. Well enough. Little bit of oh, was that? It was. Give, give to Brandar. I need it. Hmm. No staff in here. Manual of Arms, I believe we read back in uh, in Morrowind. And here is a story of the history of Morrowind. Phew. I've learned more than enough about it. I assure you. Let's have an axe sitting on the table. Perhaps it would be a good idea to disarm him. Hmm. But no vendor is going to buy these things. I would have to join up with the Thieves Guild. And he seems to drink the cheap wine. Get these ladies all liquored up, hmm? He seems just the type, doesn't he? Well, let's see if we can track him down again. Since he does not seem to have the staff in his house. Quite curious. I, I have given a lot of thought to the Emperor's murder and decided that... To make it right, any time that I accept a task, I must see it through to completion. Which does mean not accepting <laughs> as many tasks as I would have. But you see, words are very powerful. As a bard, I should know this. Ah, so if I say yes, I will complete this for you. People expect it to be completed, crazily enough. And that crazy lady just standing on the roof. Okay. And there's a chest as well. Perhaps Brandar could have a look. Ha! Yes, piece of cake. Oh, and more silver. I do like this. Up, up. Ah, it's good to be a kitty in the city. I do wonder where that Varen Vamori went. Perhaps we should wait for him at his house with a, a cigar. And he'll walk in and I'll say, So, you, you've been out late, have you? Hmm? That'll be fun. So, Mr. Vamori, welcome home. What time is it? Almost midnight. Tisk, tisk. 
And you've not even left out any food for your guests, hmm? Can I ask you something? Can I help you? Yes, yes, I hope you can. I was hoping to ask you about a female elf, a mage from the, uh, the guild. You might know her. Ardeline? Yes, I sort of know her. W well, I mean, I don't really know her, but I've talked to her some. Hmm, talked to her some, yes. A likely story. Um, would you hold on for a second while I root around in my bag? It's, it's not quite goodbye just yet, my friend. And, ha! You didn't even see that, did you? Oh, smiley, smiley. Hello, friend. What can I do for you? Well, so friendly now. I was hoping that you could tell me a bit more about Ardeline, that, that woman that you said before that you had talked to a bit. I don't know what to say. All I want is for her to care about me, to feel the same way as I do about her. But she doesn't. Mm. I try and I try, and it just doesn't matter. It makes me furious sometimes. Love is a passionate thing, my friend, but... Being angry is the, the wrong sort of passion. If your feelings are not reciprocated, you must move on. It is the only thing. A relationship is always a two-way street, and if she does not want it, you simply cannot force her into it. I'll be honest, I heard from Kudai that you had stolen her, her mage's staff, and I was just hoping, friend to friend, that you might tell me where it is, since I know it's not in your house. All right, <clears throat> I admit it. I took it from her. I, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. I was trying to tell her how I feel, again. And she wouldn't even stop to talk to me. I just got so angry. Mm. I was a little ashamed afterwards. But I didn't know how to apologize or give it back. I wish I could. You give it I'm to me? I'm afraid I don't have it anymore, you see. I... I sold it. To a sold it? Saurus Aranum. Oh. You are the lowest of the low, Baron Vomori. Oh my. I'll admit I was never too fond of you, but this is a, a new page to add to the book. Uh, so friend, wh where is Source Aranem? Who is this? I don't know of him in Bravel or Leoin. He lives in the Talos Plaza district of the Imperial City. He's the one who has Ardeline's staff now. Hmm. Well, the Imperial District. You, you've been quite a pain in my side, Mr. Varen Vomori. Tell Ardeline I'm sorry. Yes, the sorriest I've ever seen. Farewell, friend. I wish you luck in future endeavors, I suppose. Well, friends, I'm quite hesitant to head to the Imperial City just to see this major staff thing through, but I have made a promise to myself, so perhaps it is the correct thing to do. Although, what would it hurt if we stopped by Leowin first, hmm? Could maybe get a horse to help me? I don't have the coin. Let us see what this sign says. Leowin is that way. Imperial City, that is the way we came from. I must keep it in the back of my mind to go and get the Mage's Staff. Where I don't want uh, Ardeline to end up like the Emperor. I must keep in mind that I have not taken the curse off of my head quite yet. Or even confirmed that it exists, honestly, but... We've seen the proof, friends. It seems everywhere I go, foul things are following. One? Two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.